how's it going guys welcome back to another video so today i'm going to be taking a look at this music player which costs only 21 pound so before we get started let's just get the unboxing out of the way so it looks like that's what we get it's a really tiny box Alright, so there we are. So here's the music player, and lift this up. We've got a lanyard, we've got a charging cable, and we've got some earbud headphones. One with that comes with Apple, and of course, you do also have. The instructions booklet, which right well, here's the instruction booklet, and here's the warranty card. So you have a warranty. I'm gonna put that back in there. Here's the instruction booklet, and here's the music player. So for the price, I have a feeling this is gonna be better than the Sunset Clip Sport. Okay, so this is the AGP Tech A20. And the one I got is the 8 gigabyte model and this music player I got because um, I wanted a music player that I could carry around and not worry about losing or getting stolen and this was the one I came across now in the future I will obviously look at m more music players but let's go ahead and get into the review of this one so taking a look around the device you on the front you got LCD display and that's a TFT display or something so wherever angle you look at it from the colors are never really right below that you got the return button you got the menu button you go up down forward and rewind and also got the play and pause button down here um, and a lot of AGP tech music players actually have the same kind of layout so I think it kind of looks nice but the thing is they kind of repetitive so all of them kind of look the same on the top you got nothing on the uh, right side you have the power button and you got the micro SD card slot which goes up to 64 gigs and on the bottom you got the micro USB for charging and also data transfer and you've got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack out you got these uh, holes over here for the uh, lanyard that came with it okay let's talk about build quality now this is made out of the rubbery plastic that you find on Chinese products I don't know if that's actually coming in the video um, and I actually kind of like it. It's kind of rubbery, but it's not um, grippy. It's kind of slippy instead. I do kind of like it. It does feel kind of solid, but obviously it does feel kind of hollow as, at the same time. Um, and also the buttons are actually quite loud. Uh, and that's one thing I don't really like about it. Um, but overall, I think it's built quite well. Uh, obviously for the price, it's actually definitely built really, really well. Um, and I don't think you'll find there's a problem with this. Now one thing I don't like about this music player is the uh, home button. It's actually kind of flat. You can't feel it, but pressing it, you have to press it really in and then it would work. But these buttons and the rest of them, they're fine. So let's go through the menus for you guys. So I'll just go ahead and zoom down here into the display so you can hopefully see that better. And to navigate, you use obviously these buttons. So what you've got here is music, radio, which I've never listened to, file manager, which I never really opened. Uh, you got tools, um, we'll go into that, and we got three over here, so you can use either of these. Uh, you got record, so it does have a built in microphone, I think. Um, so, right here, I can miss it out. There you go, there's a microphone that you can use to record. Um, and you can also, I think, it does work with uh, other microphones if you plug them in. You got settings, and you got pictures, uh, you got books, ebook, and video. Now, videos, I mean, you do have videos obviously but it's a really tiny screen and I don't think there's proper audio in this video but um, the thing is the file that it uses is really weird I've never really heard of it I, uh, um, I've forgotten the name of it it's not mp4 it's nothing it's just I, I think it's more of like a priority file or something um, let's go into the uh, settings and I'll show you the settings so I'm not going to go th into a detail about them so you go play mode which obviously has shuffle and you've got sound settings which is equalizer and you go power off so this basically means if you're not using it it's automatically going to power off you got the sleep timer which is critical in music players in my opinion and this one does have it and it also shows the time left over here um, hopefully that's in focus 
and you got the display settings you can only change the brightness and some things like that and obviously you got your screen saver which is basically uh, uh, I guess you can put this on uh, so basically when you press the home button screen is off now now when you press it to turn it back on it's gonna show you the screen and then you can press any button to get back into it I've actually disabled that because it got a bit annoying uh, you got day and time language uh, information format device factory settings um, information is uh, I think it's gonna start reading somewhere uh, no um, so that's the built-in storage now obviously you got the radio which obviously works as well but i've never really used any of these i've only used music because i got it mainly for listening to music and you're obviously not going to be looking at pictures on this or reading ebooks because of the display i don't think um, this display is really really good i personally don't really like it but you can get away with it i mean for this price you can't it's kind of what you expect especially videos we i'm never really going into that now to navigate around um you can actually press let's go on go on to all songs and this go on into that thing again so let's say it's playing music this is the um let's go back here so it's still going to be playing music while you're browsing around you even got a file monitor so you can just jump into that um and, and they should still play the music now the thing i don't like about it is um that it doesn't do some things that I, I actually expect it to so you can go back to now playing and it's obviously back here now you can press the menu button on a lot of places and you got some options so you've even got um sleep timer so you can just go ahead and play uh, press the menu button when you're playing music and just uh, turn on the sleep timer which i use a lot so that that's really nice um you've also got over here you can press it and you can go back to now playing and then you can just go down to a different song and you can go back to now playing so it's back here and then when you press back it should be still on that spot so you can find a song over here that you like uh go back on to now playing and then it's um playing and then when you want to go to that certain song press back and you just click on it and then it'll go into that so it's kind of intuitive uh, i really do like the, uh, the way that all this is set out but unfortunately this is where it actually stops because that's as good as it's gonna get the battery life is the only thing left that i need to talk about the good thing that is well i haven't even tried it ever since i got it it's been on for days now i don't know uh, i don't really listen to music a lot on this because of one thing and that's a bit annoying but i do listen to it still when i'm trying to go sleep i just put a sleep timer on it and it automatically shuts off which the others don't now the party life is only going down to that and i've been refreshing music library and all that kind of stuff on it um, and it seems to just keep chugging it just keeps going now it does say it's about 80 hours on the website somehow i kind of doubt that but it does seem like it's really really long the battery life is amazing again like i said that's where the good thing stops let's get on to the bad things now in general this isn't a bad music player for everybody who's looking for a music player or just a separate device to play music on this will suit you just fine but when it comes to me i'm actually really into audio and i really i'm really picky about things because i think that's the way they should be so in this case let's just go ahead and show you uh, talk about the bad things over here i would have recommended this music player but it's actually missing the basics and what i mean by that is um you expect a music player to work the way you uh, with common sense but it doesn't uh, this one doesn't um so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing is it doesn't allow you to play some files so it says that it can play flag files and these are flag files obviously i'm playing them but it's all it's not gonna down sample to 48 kilohertz or something if your file quality is over 48 kilohertz it's just not gonna play it's not gonna down sample like every other music player that i've come across does um so there is an album over here which is 96 kilohertz and it's just not gonna play any of these i'm actually gonna have to go on to now i mean all songs and then look for it um well i can't be just finding it but basically it's 90 if it's 96 kilohertz or 88 kilohertz then it's just not going to play it's not going to down con convert or anything like that it's simply just not going to play the file so that is really really annoying if it's 48 kilohertz then it will play but if it's the same file um type like it's a flag file or a wave file it's just not going to play if it's over 48 kilohertz 
and I really really annoying I expected it to play all my flag files no matter what the quality maybe it just you know it should just down sample them to wherever the ducks can output or uh, but it just doesn't do that it just doesn't even play them um, uh, let's go ahead and go forward you might just come across a song there we go so file not supported and basically it's it's just flag file so it does say that it's meant to be able to play flag files and it does but it just doesn't play some of them um, so that's one thing that I don't like about it and now let's talk about the impedance it can push uh, out really loud volumes um, and I'm, I'm okay with using 250 ohm headphones but I've got the ones I have the DT770 Pro are I think they they're quite efficient so they're not that hard to drive even though they are 250 ohms um, but I wouldn't recommend you going that high just use about 100 or 150 ohm headphones up to that uh, and you should be fine now another basic that is missing is scrolling up and down now you saw me earlier scrolling up and down and watch this the reason I was tapping this button is because if you hold it it starts changing the volume so you can't hold it and go up or down or something you have to really really press it and if you have 1000 songs that's gonna be a nightmare isn't it and that is really annoying and also uh, this is some people don't find this um, a bad thing um, but I personally do some people are different obviously if you have a um, obviously still can be playing uh, the music but le you can skip files or do whatever you want over here you can actually use up and down to increase the volume but if you have it in sleep mode while you're still playing music you can't do anything it's not gonna let you do anything no matter what you try to do it's just not gonna work and that in my opinion is a basic um, the Shanling M1 that I have actually has an option in the menus so you can actually disable that and the, the reason people do this companies do this is in case you accidentally hit a button uh, but these buttons are really loud and really a bit well they are tactile and nice to use but uh, they are quite loud I don't think they need to be this loud um, obviously I'm not gonna hit the button so I don't know why this you can't change the option to having it in sleep mode and be able to skip tracks uh, it's just like using an Android phone very very lame you have to turn it on look at the song skip it and then just wait for it to do this and do that and then you can just listen to it and, and whatever um, so that is a bit annoying you can't use it with the screen turned off that is very very annoying uh, another one of the things that is missing uh, and this is another basic but Shanling M1 had this and I've recently updated it well actually quite months ago and they've actually fixed it now this uses file names instead of the actual tags and the files and I don't think it even reads half of them because it's still using the file name um, so all my music over here is unorganized everything is just the second track and stuff and even in the file manager well I expected to do the same in the file manager um, but uh, it obviously it reads the file names over here but I expected to read the tags the title for all of the songs in here but it doesn't the um, Shanling has fixed that so that's good at least they're listening all right the last thing is sound quality and obviously I forgot to say something about the battery life and that is if you want to charge it, it takes about three hours to charge it lasts about 80 hours so that's that's a really good thing I, I like to see that in all the music players um, but um, the sound quality is good now by good I mean that it sounds hi-fi like it's really really nice is the it's got a decent sound sound stage and stuff like that the highs are really good the bass is a bit mushy boy that's fine um, i kind of expect it for 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 a music player at this price it is really really good of sound quality but the problem is the noise level now there is no noise on this uh, or at least it is very very low but instead of noise i think it does noise cancelling by itself and what it does is in, introduce clicking so all of a sudden if it's a really quiet part of the song like hallelujah by jeff buckley what you're gonna hear is just clicking really really annoying clicking like this and it's really annoying you can't really enjoy music on really low volumes at that kind of well whatever song it is if it's gonna get quiet then it's gonna be just clicking and that is really annoying um, but what it does do is listen you can listen to music with uh, high volumes I think it's fine like that but it still kind of gets annoying and when the bass kicks in then the actually then the clicking actually kind of just goes away or something maybe it has to do somewhere with the low frequencies um, but I'm not really sure either way I don't really care much to be honest with you because um, 
uh, the sound quality may be good but it's really annoying to listen to because of the clicking that happens and stuff um so i haven't been using this music player a lot uh, just for that reason however that being said all the things i've said don't really matter to the average user if you're looking for a music player that just so you can play music on separately and not have to play on your device or your mobile phone this might this will be fine for you if you like to have control over your device or you have to just if you're always fiddling to find the right song or something like that then this is fine um you obviously got artists over here and you've got your albums and the genres and the album art and it actually sorts out all the album arts into thingies it's just gonna pop up it's a bit slow um also one more thing about the sound quality now when the cpu is actually working that inside this it, there's interference a lot of it so when it's loading the album if it's a really high megapixel or something i mean if it's a really high resolution album it's gonna load it from the top to the bottom so it's, uh, and on the headphones you're gonna hear zzz, something stupid like that it's really annoying um but that's fine and no obviously there is no gapless playback but that i think it just sorts out the albums in that way albums are over here and it doesn't show the album art for that album but seems to be just popping it up over here uh, obviously it's a bit slow but i don't mind it is really really slow now it's never done this um, okay so the chapter five the gray chapter and there is no album it's not showing it um that's because it's not assigned to the file um there are some others so overall i think this music player is kind of worth it but the better option over here would be to get the sunset clip sport not the jam the jam doesn't play a flag file apparently um and i was i did order that but i had to cancel it because of the fact that it doesn't play flag file i don't do mp3 um so I'll leave it here. Uh, let me know your comments or your thoughts about this music play. If you are going to get it, then just be aware that it is not really kind of audio file grade. I wasn't expecting it, obviously, but I mean, come on, you're missing out the basics. You can't even scroll up and down because I have 1000 songs. Just start changing the volume. And then when you just turned off, uh, it just doesn't let you do anything. Um, and that's really annoying. And the audio quality has a lot of clicking that is very, very annoying. Um, that's all i have to say uh, other than that i do really like it i like the form factor it's nice to use and everything the body life is amazing it has nice sound quality but the clicking just takes it away now it, this is a 8 gigabyte model so the built-in storage is 8 gigabytes um, and it does actually separate it between the memory card or the internal storage it's nothing combined so you can't really do anything about that i've never really bothered with the internal storage um like the fact that it takes memory cards and it does have a recorder in it so you can use this for as a recorder but i don't really think that's a good idea um i'll actually leave it here i'll leave a link in the description if you're still gonna buy it but i don't really recommend it unfortunately thank you for watching and i will see you again in another video